In this lesson, we'll talk a little bit about modeling with NURBS. So when I say NURBS, N-U-R-B-S, all caps, that just stands for Non-Uniform Rational B-Spline. All you really need to know is that it's a different kind of geometry that we can work with here in Maya. So this is 04 Begin, and we're going to use this robot from uh, one of Pat Emery's great courses. He's one of our authors. And so we're going to use this as an example to work with NURBS geometry. So first, let's talk a little bit about NURBS. We kind of talked about polygons, but let's bring in just a NURBS primitive. And I'm just going to bring in a cylinder so that we can kind of talk about what makes up a NURBS object. So instead of having uh, points in space connected by edges and invisible faces, you can think of this as kind of a virtual patch of geometry that's configured in different ways, so kind of a square uh, patch. So uh, this square would be kind of like you've rolled it up like a newspaper. And you can see the thick line right here indicates the seam. So all pieces of NURBS geometry are going to be made up of those uh, square patches that are configured in different ways. So if this is rolled up like a newspaper, if we create a NURBS sphere, it would be just like that cylinder, except that the two ends have been squeezed together to get this spherical shape. Now if we right click to go to component mode, we can access isoparms, which would be these lines coming across the surface. We can't move them though. We can access the control vertex, and these points are actually lying off of the surface, and these points are used to mathematically calculate the surface and curvature underneath. We can also, we can actually move those, but we can also access the holes. This would be akin to kind of polygon edges. They're really just kind of groups of those CVs. Okay, so one of the advantages of working with NURBS is that it's really easy to create things that might be a little bit more difficult with polygons and you can use curves. Curves and surfaces are going to be really closely related as far as NURBS goes. So you can think of this, you can think of basically every one of these isoparms as a curve and really anywhere along the surface is a potential curve. And oftentimes uh, NURBS surfaces are created from the interactions between different kinds of curves. So let's use this to our advantage to create something made out of NURBS. So let's say on this robot, we want to create a big sort of pipe coming along the back, maybe one on the other side too, but we'll concentrate on this one side. And so we can think about this. We could kind of use a cylinder, but then we'd have to uh, kind of go in and do a lot of shaping to get it to follow along. What we can do really quickly is to draw out a curve along the path that we want that uh, pipe to flow along. So come to the side view, let's go to create CV curve tool. And I'm just going to kind of draw generally where I want that curve to be. I'm going to add a few points and hit enter to complete that curve. We can now select those vertices, go to control vertex, select those vertices and we can move those around to modify the curve. Now this curve isn't really rendering, there's no thickness to it. It's just a line kind of in 3D space. And so what we want to do is add some thickness to it. Now you can see, I'm not seeing it right now. You always want to check your filter and make sure that you're being able to see, that you're able to see all the different objects. So if I turn on NURBS curves, there it is. So we can come in now and we can modify this. Let's take the end of it and kind of move it down. We can just get it into a rough position. We can still move it later though if we want. So this is the path. Now we need a profile. That's the shape that's going to be pulled along this curve. And so thinking about this, I want it to be sort of a pipe or a, a uh, tube shaped. And so that's going to be basically a circle. So let's go ahead and create. And let's create a NURBS primitive. And we'll just create a circle. With that circle selected, I'll shift click on the curve. And let's go up to Surfaces, the Surfaces menu set, and then we'll go to Surfaces, and we'll go to Extrude. And let's go into the Options. For the style, we're going to turn on Tube. We want the resulting position to be located at the path, so where we've drawn that initial curve out. And then for the pivot, we'll choose Component, and we want to choose the output geometry as NURBS. You can also output polygons as well. So we'll go ahead and say extrude. Now it doesn't really look like what we want, right? The problem is that this circle is too big. So it's taking this huge circle and extruding it along that path and making this 
really big shape. So the way that history works in Maya is that there's now a connection between both of these curves and the surface. So if I go in and change anything about these curves, so I can go into the make NURB circle node, and we'll take the radius and I'll just middle mouse drag it down to decrease it, you can see that that uh, surface automatically updates. So I can take this down and let's do maybe 0 0.05. And also, in addition, the, the curve underneath also has that same history. So I can select a point on this curve. I'm not selecting the geometry, just that initial curve. And you can see how that geometry automatically updates as I move this around. Okay? NURBs are one of those things where a lot of times I'll use those as kind of a means to get to a particular shape. It may be something that's a little bit more difficult to make as a uh, as a polygon or with the polygon tools. In the end, it might it, it might end up being a polygon. I might convert it to a polygon. But the way of creating it is is a little bit easier with NURBS. And so that's one of the things that you'll see uh, in our tutorials as well, is we like to show different ways of getting to the same spot because rarely is there one specific way that you have to do something. In, in modeling, a lot of times there are so many avenues uh, to get to the same result. And so we try to definitely cover those things. We also try to cover uh, production tips, things that we've picked up along the way. So I know in my experience that I've used NURBS, especially on things like these tubes or long pipes and things like that, because when we select our NURBS object, we can go into the uh, UV texture editor and you can see you get these free UVs and you, you, it's very clear on what the UVs are. They're from one end to the other. It's basically a square patch. And so even if you're converting this, knowing that ahead of time makes it a little bit easier on you as far as editing those UVs sometimes. And so sometimes objects will be easier to create using NURBS, using curves and NURB surfaces. That's just one small option. You know, you can loft between two curves to create things like um, drapes or, or a cape. If you want to do that, you can extrude along just like this. Um, there are a lot of different ways to use NURBS. And again, you don't have to stay within NURBS you can create the initial shape and then move on uh, to converting that into a polygon and so forth. Okay, so now that we've looked a little bit at NURBS, let's take a look next at duplicating geometry. So starting to work efficiently, reusing things that we've already created. So we'll go ahead and do that next.